Okay, let's get started. Good morning, everybody. My name's Adrian Duckenfield, and I'm a pre-sales engineer here in the UK. Um, this is just going to be a short webinar, which just shows you how to configure the quotering feature, which we recently added into the firewall. Um, if you haven't been on these webinars before, they're literally just um, it's kind of like a five, ten minute long video on a how to how to configure stuff. So let's get started with the quotering. Now I have here my firewall policy in front of me. To enable the quotering feature, it's really easy. We're just going to go to Setup, Actions, and Quotas. Now the first thing we're going to do is enable the feature. And then we have these tabs along the top here. Now at this point, I'm just going to point out that in order for quotering to work, the users have to be authenticated. So whether you're going to be using Firebox built-in users and groups down here, or you're going to use authorized users and groups from things like Active Directory, um, you know, LDAP or, or whatever other service you're using. But the thing to take away from this is they have to be authenticated users. You can't just do any trusted. You can't do IP addresses. They must appear as a user and group within the rule. Now, if I look at my authorized users and groups here, I've got some already configured, which is pointing to my Active Directory. And today, I'm going to be picking on myself, Adrian. So I'm going to use that user. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to create a quota rule. So I'm going to click on Add. And let's be imaginative. I'm going to call it New Rule pushing the boat out, then I'm going to specify which users and groups this rule is going to apply to. So I'm going to click on Add. And I'm, as I say, I'm, I'm going to pick on myself, me. Because uh, unlike some of my other webinars, with this webinar, I'm actually going to give you a live demo of how this works. Uh, so, <laughs> so fingers crossed it works, right? Then we're going to go down to Quota Action. Now in here, I haven't got any templates already, so I'm going to create a new one. And so this is where you can specify how long or how much bandwidth is used by this rule. So I'm going to go in here and say two minutes, which isn't very much because I want this to block me. And I'm going to say two megabytes, like so. So I've got my rule. It's enabled. I've specified my users and groups. And I've created an action. Click OK. Under the Actions column, you will see the action that I just created, which is my two meg and two minutes. Under policies, you're going to see all of my relevant rules I have in place where I can enable the, uh, the quotering rule. So you'll see here I've got a HTTP domain access rule and a HTTP domain, a HTTPS domain access rule. So I'm going to select both of those and down here I'm just going to say enable, like so. There is another tab here for exceptions, so perhaps you needed to apply this quotering to everybody in the organization, but of course, you don't want to actually block yourself, do you? So you would add yourself to the exceptions, I suspect. Okay, so I'm going to click OK, and I've basically now set up the quotering. All I need to do now is put myself in the correct rule. So it was this HTTP, HTTP rule here, and I have administrator, so I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to go ahead and add me. And you'll see here this tick box, enable bandwidth and quotering. So that's what we just ticked under the quotering uh, object we were in a moment ago. That's where it's enabled it there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same for my HTTPS rule as well. Like so. Okay, and that's basically it. I've configured my quotering. I've assigned me to a specific rule, which the quotering policy is assigned to. I'm just going to go ahead and save this back to the box. Just like that. Then within my Firebox system manager, you will see here that uh, the user is authenticated already on this particular machine. But if you go across the top of these tabs, you're going to see that you have a user quotas. So if we select into here, we should see the quotering appear 
once it starts being used. So the next thing I'm going to go and do now is I'm just going to remote desktop onto this particular machine. You guys let me know if you can't see this RDP session, but you should be able to see it okay. So I'm authenticating as my AD user. And so let's just double check that I'm showing as authenticated. Yes, I am. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start browsing online. So let's just make sure I can browse. Google, yes, I can. Bit of Yahoo. Uh, bit of BBC. Just going to start browsing. Let's just go back down here. So now I've started browsing. You can see that the quotering action has now started to kick in. It's, it's recognized me as the user. It's showing me the quota action that I'm using. And it's showing that I've already used 1.6 meg out of my 2 meg allowance. And I've been browsing for not one minute out of two. So let's go back to the RDP session and let's carry on browsing. Bit of Google again. Uh, oh, we'll go have a bit of eBay. All about the eBay. Okay, so it's kind of hung there, which is interesting. So I think if I opened up another tab and if I try to browse somewhere else, let's see what happens. So if we minimize this for a second, we can see now that I've, I've hit my two meg limit. And what we should see is the deny message like that. It's a bit slow presenting it in my browser because I'm actually doing this via server 2012, which has a very quirky version of Internet Explorer. But I can assure you in a normal browser on a client machine, it just pops up instantly. So here's my deny message, which shows you that I've been denied by the firewall because of my quotering. And you'll see here why I've been denied. So. There we go, so that's quotering in a nutshell. Now you can do all of these things as well from the web UI. Let me show you that quickly. So we'll just log in to the web UI of my firewall. I have to excuse the cert error. I haven't installed my, my certificate for this box yet. Excellent, so I'm logged into my firewall. Now if I go down to, uh, where are we, firewall, I have quotas. So this quotering section here is the exact same quotering section I showed you in the policy manager where I've created my rule, I've created my actions, I've assigned it to the relevant policies, and I have my exceptions. Then if we were to look under the system status on the left here, you have the quotering in here as well. And this is the equivalent of the Firebox system manager. So this is showing you how many users are hitting the quota, and the status of whether or not they've exceeded their quota. Now, like within the Firebox System Manager, I can actually highlight and reset the quota from in here as well. So now you see everything's gone back to zero. And if I go back to this machine, I'm just gonna close down this browser and open up a new one to be on the safe side. We should now be able to browse again. There we go, live demo successfully done, happy days. So there we are, that's quotering in a nutshell. Now things to take away from this, as I said, is to remember it has to be an authenticated user. And also you may wanna consider tying this into things like the traffic management and the fully qualified domain names within the policies. Because what I could have done is I could have done a rule from me to youtube.com. Cause you know, you guys know this FQDN in the rules now, right? So we can go in here, FQDN. And I could just do youtube.com. In fact, I think you have to do star dot in front of it like so. So I could have done that. And then what I could have done in my traffic management is said, I will only let you have, uh, I don't know, one megabit a second. And then on my quota ring, I could have said you can only download 500 meg and only browse for half an hour. So that way I could get to YouTube at any time of day for half an hour, but I'm only gonna get, I don't know, as I say, one megabit a second download rate, and you can only download 50 meg or something like that. So you can combine all of these different features into one, um, and that's why the quotering is so flexible. You can apply it to any rule. 
So there we go. That's the quota ring in a nutshell. Again, thanks, guys. Um, the next webinar coming up is going to be multi-WAN. So I'm going to show you how you can do things like load balancing and policy-based routing via multiple internet connections. And that's going to be the same time next week. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to fire them over in the question box, and I will get back to you um, within 10, 10 to 20 minutes. Okay. Thanks for your time, guys. And I'll speak to you again soon.